What I'm going to show you how to do is a double stitch. There's all sorts of stitches in crochet, but this is really quite a simple one. Um, when we're making a square, what you have to remember is the length that you want your square to be. Um, we get crochet up to that size, but then on top of that, do an extra link. So we do an extra one. And that means that when you turn, you, your crochet will be at the same height that accommodates for the height that you need. So we ignore that extra stitch that we've made. So for our first double stitch, we're going to be putting a hook through all these little links, okay, little V links. So we put a hook through the first link, around the back of the wall, turn your hook towards you, to point, pointing down, and pull the wall through, and just pull it through the first link. So if you do that, you should have now have two links on your hook. So if you pull your hook to push towards you, underneath your wool, round the back, your hook facing down and then pull it through the, both of them. So that's our first double stitch. So we've done that in that first link. We need to just repeat that all the way down our link. So the next link along, we put our wool through, round the back of the wool, up your wool with your hook facing down, pull it through the first link. Now you have two stitches on your hook. Hook towards you, around the back of your wool, hook facing down, and pull it through both links, both stitches. So that's your second double stitch. And we just keep repeating that until we're at the end. So you put your crochet hook through the next link along, pick up your wool, hook facing down, pull it through. Okay, so now there's two stitches on your hook, hook towards you, underneath the wall, pick it up from the back, turn your hook down, and pull it through both. So that's your next double stitch, and we just repeat that until we get to the end of the row. And this is a stitch that we're going to use from now on. So we've done that linking, that um, chain stitch at the beginning, and now it's just this double stitch all the way. So I've got to the end of the work. So what we do now is we turn the crochet over. So we've got the back facing us now. And we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to do double stitch all the way along. But remember, we have to put that extra stitch in to accommodate for the height. Then we put our hook through. We have the... Our, this is like our chain stitch was before. See, running across here. Now it's important that we put a hook through both of those two loops. So it's not just the first one, it's both of them. Put the hook through, again, round the back, pick up your wool, bring it through the first link. Hook round the back of your wool, hook facing down, and through the two. So it's the same stitch that we were doing a moment ago but just remembering to pick up the two pieces of wool there. Okay, it's the same. Okay, so hook in, pick up both two tops of that stitch, pick up your wool, pull it through once, wrap it around again, pull it through the two. So I think it's quite important to remember that you can move this hook around as well. I think people try and wrap the wall around and do all sorts of things, but if you just keep tension in that wall and use your hook and turn, turn your hook to help you. So um, go through those two, pick up the wall, pull it through. Remember you turn your crochet over do an extra chain stitch to accommodate for the height and then ignore that chain stitch but go into your first stitch and work your way to the end again and that's that's a double stitch and that's all you need to do to create your first square <laughs>